and the spectrum to be continuous above a certain threshold. My hypothesis at the beginning was that the theory describes the anti-dissident space and small fluctuations around it, and black holes with the Beckinson-Hawking entropy. So the theory is maximally dead from that point of view. It, get, it would get each of those statements wrong. It still has a lot of adherence in the wider world, though. But there are a lot of people out there who think that all my statements. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Well, we get them. You see, I described the left moving part. <laughs> Angular momentum is the difference between the energy of left movers and the energy of the right movers. There's no reason for those two energies to be equal. Definitely not. No rigor there. I was hoping to get the answer 24, multiple of 24, because to make the theory as simple as it could be. And um, gauge theory does make the value 24 natural. But even so, there's some choice, slightly subtle choices you could make. They're explained in the paper. I don't want to go into it now. But using gauge, more fundamentally though, using gauge theory to settle the question is completely non-rigorous. It's the only thing I could think of to do. No one else has made another suggestion. Uh, seriously, I don't know if I found the right values of k, of C, L of G. Uh, I'd be happy to hear another suggestion. I, I told you up to what point the lecture was correct. I don't make any promises about any statement after that. Yes? Yes. 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 So now we go to large K and large letter. And we have some R and we have many different angular moments. Yes. Do all of these classes are they known? Almost. There's a slight embarrassment. But roughly speaking, they correspond to spinning black holes. But when you say all these solutions, sorry, these are quantum microstates. The, the idea would be that they're quantum. The classical description of the black hole only sees the mass and angular momentum, which would essentially be the energies for the left and right movers. Um, the counting of quantum states agrees with the Beckinson Hawking entropy. But, well, loosely speaking, there's no known way to see classically um, where the microstates come from. There is this suggestion by Milani that I mentioned before about the wormholes behind the horizon. I don't know if it works. I don't know if I answered what other question, if I interpreted the question properly. I was asking about given the value of the mass of different values of the spin. Well, there's a subtlety, but loosely speaking, all values of the spin occur in the classical theory. Because the black hole can have any angular momentum. Oh, well, at least temporarily we're out of questions. Maybe we should call it a day. I'll still be around tomorrow if you want to ask any more.